the Trainship Denmark we educate young people, men and women. My father and my uncle uh, were both on it in uh, 78 and 81. Um, so it's almost like a family tradition. The Trainship Denmark uh, offers an education with STCW papers becoming OS and later on ABs. And when they have completed the course they can call themselves an ordinary seaman. But with a modern touch, such as knowing all the modern instruments, uh, the radar, how to use it. It's according to international uh, standards. This is a lot more practical. Um, when yeah, you, you get really sore hands. Yeah, yeah. I applied for the education just for something different and for a challenge. And the course uh, includes 14 weeks on board the ship and furthermore 6 weeks ashore on a craftsman school. So totally 20 weeks to become an ordinary seaman. I have uh, heard about this education from uh, my father and uh, he was uh, chief engineer on Tug 50. My family has always been sailing, so that's why I wanted to to try this out. Uh, then he can apply for a job on board motion ships worldwide. After my education uh, from the training ship uh, Denmark, uh, I actually considered becoming a navigator. In the future, hopefully a lot of them uh, will uh, find them as mates or engineers uh, in the merchant marine. So you physically place it as close to this position where you like to go. So the thing is about this electrode is that it is possible to melt these two elements together. I just finished high school last year. The training aboard the ship differs uh, from the gymnasium uh, in the way that it's very 50-50 between practical and theoretical skills. So as soon as we have uh, the theoretical basis, we go and try it out in, in practice. They simply live along with marine diesel engines and marine diesel equipment. They see how we maintain it and they will be in the engine room as watch keepers and in the room daemon as well. When we are having about how to keep a watch, we can actually see that that's how we are doing it when, when we are on watch. You learn a lot about how far you can push your body up here. So it's, it's nice. We were lookouts from the beginning or we were yeah. sort of navigating from the beginning but we didn't really know what we were doing but now we more or less do. As the piston is descending in the cylinder it will create a vacuum and this vacuum will take in the air and fuel mixture from the, what's the name of this one? The carburetor. I've brought some small combustion engines along on this voyage so that we will dismantle those engines take out all the Indian parts, feel them in our hands, that's hand-on experience, and we will reassemble them, restart the engine, and that will be a small success for them to see how things come together and how the different items work together in the term of turning a combustible liquid into propulsion. The best thing about being in the ship, definitely the friends, the experiences and uh, all the knowledge that you gain. It's definitely more practical on the ship, but more hands-on and active and they trust you more. When I sleep I can put my arm here and I will touch the guy next to me and I will put my arm here and there's a girl and I can put my arm there and there's the next guy. So you're really just living really close to each other, which is fantastic experience. They stretch out their limits and uh, their personal limits because up aloft they need to work with the one they are standing close to. Then you know that you you have to solve the problem so you get really good at problem solving because yeah. of that. Because we're together all the time. It also shows that you are able to and that you're capable to work at a modern company. Mm. 
My relationship to the crew is very good and I think they're all people that you can look up to uh, and they're very talented. Everyone speaks English well and is willing to give you extra time if you don't understand something. So that's really nice. The very best thing is in the evening when we have spare time, when you can go up to the rigging and sit with some of your friends and you can just sit and chat and see the sun go down. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Six. Six. The worst thing about being on the ship, uh, that might be the sea watch and the night. That makes it really hard to get a good night's sleep. So. It's hard to stand up every night. But the crew are very good at motivating us all uh, to, you know, giving it 110% every single time. They push themselves, and that's one of the things they can they can use wherever they're going in the maritime business or somewhere shore based. I guess that's why many of us are here to, to just try out if if this is the way we want to go. But I really enjoy sailing. It's a big passion. The skills that you gain here, you can use tenfold when you come home.